Hey, what's up everybody? I thought I'd take a little bit of time and talk about Project Slabside and what I've um, been working on this week. So I've started laying out the exhaust and uh, I've got to the point where I'm setting the exhaust resonator under the vehicle and where it's locating. Um, so this is the exhaust resonator, you can see it here. It's a stainless steel two and a half inch boreless resonator that is gonna end up being located at basically about where the tow board of the vehicle is, is located, so on your front, your front floor pan there. Um, and what I've discovered is, is it's awful close to the bottom of the floor pan, so it, it gets super close. So what I went ahead and did this week is I, I built up these little heat shields, so it'll sit under the vehicle like that, and that'll give me a little barrier between the floor pan and this resonator that will hopefully break up the heat um, and help eliminate the heat from radiating into the into the cab of the vehicle and so how i went ahead and did that is i started out with basically some four inch wide um 50 52 aluminum that i was able to stick in my sheet metal brake and create these these broke edges and then i took a piece of 60 61 aluminum here and my two inch hole saw and just cut myself out some round discs that i've welded to the bottom as you can see and the reason I did that is that gives me about a quarter of an inch air gap between the floor pan and this particular shield. So there's air movement around this part all the time to keep this particular part from getting too hot as well. And then I went ahead and coated it. Um, and that's what I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about and spend a little bit of energy and talk about this Zycoat Zybar that I coated it with. So I've used this product a couple times. I used it on a little Cobra replica that I built to, to spray the side pipes and it's kind of your DIY ceramic coating type product. Um, and I want to say this stuff holds up really extremely well. I would have thought that we would have had some flaking or discolor or anything weird like that, but the side pipes on the Cobra have held up really well and we all know how hot those side pipes get. Um, so I've been really happy with that. So I went ahead and decided to use this product on the Lincoln. So I've got, my headers are all sprayed in it and I had about 10 ounces left after spraying the headers. So I thought, well, why not spray these little heat shields that I've built up? So with that, um, it comes um, ready to spray. There's no reducing, no thinning, nothing like that that, that needs to be required um, to spray. But you do need to spray, I guess, it would be nice to spray it out of a 1.5 tip gun. Um, I've got my little Sada Jet Mini here that I used last night. I sprayed it um, with the this gun being having a one two so that's a 1.2 tip so that's the diameter of the tip size itself and i wanted to talk a little bit about how i set my gun up so coming out of my air compressor i've got 120 psi that then heads to obviously my regulator and runs into the dryer and stuff like that so at my regulator at the wall, I reduce that air pressure down to 60 psi. From that air pressure at 60 psi, it runs through my 3 8 air hose into the bottom of the regulator in my gun that I then set my regulator at my gun at the max air pressure of this particular gun. And every gun will have it written on it. This particular gun is 29 psi. So my regulator gets set at 29 psi, which gives me an operation at the cap, I think it's five to six pounds at the cap, however that, that works out. Um, but from there, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about how I go about prepping the parts to spray. So my concern was a little bit too being aluminum. I know some products have issues with adhesion and bonding to aluminum. Um, so I reached out, talked to the company at Zyco yesterday. They, they informed me that there should be no issue with this product bonding to the aluminum as long as it's prepped properly. So prepping this stuff properly is super important. And, and as always, I over prep everything anyways. I, I make sure stuff is super clean. I don't want any weird fish eyes or anything like that in my product after I've painted it. So like I say, I started out with my parts like this that I've made up. I've gone inside. Um, to my sink and I've washed everything down, scrubbing with um, some Scotch-Brite and Dawn dish soap, got all the oils off of it um, before I even start sanding on it. That way I'm not transferring any contaminants with the sandpaper around on the parts and stuff like that. So they recommend you use a aluminum oxide media of about 120 grit to uh, spray 
your parts with uh, to get a good bond when you go to actually spray their product. So I used uh, 120 grit aluminum oxide paper to start with on a sanding block um, and got all the imperfections basically out of my part. And then I didn't change over my media and my blast cabinet to the aluminum oxide. I just didn't want to go through that process to spray these little parts. Um, but I had garnet in there, so I, I read a little more into their tech sheets and some of their questions. And it, it does say you can use the garnet media for blasting, so that's what I went ahead and did. And I had good results. Um, after the parts were all blasted and ready to be sprayed, I went ahead and used this prep ball. This is a, just a keen strip uh, prep ball. They make a lot of different companies, make a lot of different types of prep ball. And I, I went ahead and wiped my parts down. I did give about 30 minutes uh, between wiping the parts down and actually spraying it. That gives you enough time for the solvents or any, anything in this to dry out. Uh, so I don't have any contamination that way as well. So from that point, I, I sprayed my parts up. Uh, it sprayed out really good. It laid out really good. It's got a nice effect. Um, this is the satin bronze. So it looks good. Um, so I just wanted to put it out there that if you guys have headers or exhaust, uh, parts, turbo parts, that this is an, a relatively inexpensive product to buy. Um, or if you guys want to want me to, to spray them up or blast them up and, and do them up for you to go ahead and let me know and, or talk to me and I can, I can help you out that way. So for that being said, guys, thanks for, for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to get a hold of me. Right on. Have a great day.